I wanted to show you guys my milling machine and some of the upgrades I've made to it to make it kind of what it is today. So uh, I do a lot of architectural work and I've kind of fine tuned this machine to kind of work for me. So architectural work, really, there's a lot of long parts. So I'll make brass shelving units and I got to put a, a holes in a piece of one inch tubing. So, and that tubing is like eight feet long. So I have the two vices here to help support the material. Um, when I got the machine, it came with this vise. I acquired a crook vise later, but it had these both match ground. So now they're on the same height. Another thing on this machine um, is that it's, what really makes this machine what it is, is the ProTrack controller. So this is a two axis controller. It, uh, it doesn't do three axis. They do make a machine, it's called a, bed mill, this is a knee mill. The bed mill, the old quip, uh, head is on a column uh, and there is no knee, so that's driven. This, the quill isn't rigid enough to really have a third axis on it, but I'll just show you guys kind of the functionality of that. So for example, I can take this machine and, uh, and since it has a servo on the X and the Y axis, I can hit go here and I can jog this machine in X and Y, and then I can also go and do this and type in a feed rate, and then of uh, let's say 15, and now I'm feeding at 15 inches per minute, and I can bump that up to 22 and a half just by these percent controllers here. And then um, another thing is I have it set up now. I mostly use this to do a lot of bolt circle work or uh, drill patterns or milling arcs, but I'll just show you how easy the bolt circle is. So I have it programmed already. All I have to do is hit start, go, and now this is going to walk around a bolt circle with a one inch radius, six holes. And you can see this machine is from 89. It feeds at 100 inches per minute is the max feed rate. I still think that's too fast on a manual machine, something you're standing right in front of. So that's the functionality of the controller. It can do more, but this is from 89, so it's, it's pretty dated. Um, I use this to mill and to do cut arcs, but most of the time I'm using it to do bolt, uh, bolt patterns and things like that. A um, few other things, it has the power knee, which is just unbelievably convenient. I have the power draw bar. So I can take this, this is a 3 h chuck with a 3 quarter inch shank, and then I have a, the annular cutters I use constantly, they also have a 3 quarter inch shank, so I don't have to change the call it out, it just makes things go a lot faster. I added these fast food trays here, so I just cut them down, notched them to the machine, and then added some 5 8 salt square coal roll, so they fit inside the T-slot, just keep the machine cleaner. Um, chips will melt the plastic, so eventually I'll add uh, either a high temp rubber like the way white way covers or some pieces of stainless um let's see here i have these pieces of key stock that i've made to do uh to have stops so each vice has two stops out of the key stock so i for smaller parts and then if i'm running large parts like um long tubes i have the edge technology stop bolted to the back and then if i want to I have these other pieces that I've made up, just one inch solid cold rolled, that's, they're tapped and they're machined to a specific length. So I can add this, so I can edge find this one, <clears throat> add this, and then tighten my offset <clears throat> so I know where I'm at. So that has been very convenient. I have that up to like four feet or even six feet. So if I'm running a long part and I need to put a whole six feet in on a piece of tubing and get it accurate, I can use that, very convenient. Um, what else is there that I've done? I put an airline in here. This is a piece of 3-8 stainless tubing. Very, uh, very nice. Just keep it all out of the way. Um, the mist system is a Noga mist system. And then I also have a, uh, it's, uh, it's called a DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum just hooked up to this on a cordless trigger here, cordless remote, super easy. So I'll use that mostly just for fumes because when I'm running this machine, um, it just helps move the air away from your face because you're right here working. And uh, especially with this mist system, there's a lot of vapors. And when I'm tapping with that tap magic or sulfurated oil, it produces some really nasty uh, vapors and machining plastic and stuff too. So um, let me show you another trick I found after I hooked this, a whip or a uh, additional shop back hose. So I can plug this in and now have a vacuum on the machine to clean almost while I'm running the machine. So I can come in and it just makes it 
really easy to clean while you're working. Uh, instead of having to roll a shop vac over here, plug it in, set up the hose, um, this is just, the shop vac's already here. So I just tap into that. I have that set up on my lathe as well. So uh, while you're running the machine, makes a ton of chips. I like to keep my machines as clean as possible. And this just is, removes a step in the cleaning process. So I always say, if it makes it easier to clean, uh, go for it. So this, very happy with that. So that's pretty much everything I've done to my machine. Um, very happy with it. Like I said, I'm in front of this thing every day and uh, it's a real pleasure to use now. So I don't know if I could go back to a machine that isn't two axis controlled without a, a knee, uh, power knee, power draw bar, LED ring light, coolant, uh, vacuum system, uh, very, very nice machine. So uh, hopefully you guys learned something on how to, how to set up your mill. Um, and like I said, I'm very happy with how it's going so far. So thanks for watching.